Hey everybody, this is Karen. It is January 30th, 2016, Saturday. I just today learned about the untimely death of Laura from Little X Love's channel. Um, who had, who, who was Little Love, you know, X Love's, and um, I could try to perfect this and, and I'm already tripping over myself. Um, I just cried and I started to make a video and I said I can't do that I'm, I'm sitting there bawling and you know I, I cried real hard that it's just a um, it took a real hard today I, I, I've only been um, participating in her channel for about maybe eight months a year maybe and um, I, I you know made comments and asked questions and you know in that year and and I don't think we really ever talked but I am just shocked I, I found out from Christy she made a 31 minute video um, on little loves on Laura on Laura and um, about how her friend, I think her friend that was on the channel with her a lot, and um, her, how her, um, Laura's sister, um, said something about her untimely passing. Um, just shocked today. This is, I've, I've only cried this hard with three other deaths of my whole life, and, um, and I, I, um, I just cried so hard and there's a lot of controversy I keep on wanting to there's a lot of controversy on on what happened and how did she pass and I think that at this time and people want to know what's gonna happen with her channel and people want to know what's gonna happen with her dolls and and um, and um, I watched Christie's video and she said that um, that they were gonna leave up at as of as of you know when Christie did her video they were gonna leave up her her um, little ex loves channel and that was a relief to me and um, I mean today I just I, I've cried kind of all day and um, shocked I'm just shocked young lady she's younger than I am I'm almost 40 I think she was about 30 years old and um, or something like that and um, everybody's um I thought I had it together before I started this I really did I'm still I'm uh, finding having a hard time finding my words, finding how to articulate um, what's happened and um, yeah I just shocked I just found out today and um, just by happenstance and I didn't want to go look at one of her movies, one of her videos so I thought it would make me cry even more but actually and I know this is just uh, just just for me um, and how I felt it made me feel more comfortable it made me feel more at peace and um, Laura's last video her last message was about respect you know I, I think that she's been in this reborn community for many years and and it is now with everything and social media and um, it has gotten so, um, kind of greedy and people, you know, like she mentioned how people just want a doll and if they don't get one then, then they complain and, and her whole message today, uh, not sorry, today when she did her video, my bad, sorry, was about respect. That was her last message to us. Love one another respect one another
I mean, if that was, you know, the, the video to leave right before she passes, I think that was it. You know, about, you know, how she's been, um, you know, people have been so rude to her and, and all she wanted was love. That's all she wanted. She wanted a little bit of, um, a little bit of love, a lot of love. She wanted some humor. She wanted some um, friends and, and um, you know, respect. She gave everybody else respect by, by doing her videos for a long time. And it wasn't just because she wanted subscribers and she really loved to interact with people. And, and, and um, she reminds me, and I'm not trying to steal anybody's thunder, she reminds me a little bit of me. Um, how that's, I just love to, to give to people. She just wanted to give. You know, and um, can't say that just because in the in the past year or so, um, just can't you know say that just because the last year or so has been bad, doesn't mean her whole time in the reborn community has been bad. I I see her, you know, um, her videos and and just how everybody you know replied to her and how how the communication went and I'm not I'm not talking very well right now but it was about respect and I think that um during this time her family asked that we could give them privacy and respect they're asking for privacy and respect that they need time to mourn. I mean, if we think that we're as, you know, if we think that we're shocked and dismayed and heartbroken, how much more are they that are shocked, dismayed, and heartbroken? How much more are they? Her, her own family, her own blood, her own, you know, her friends that have been on her channel, you know, and, um, they need time. They, they need time. They need time to mourn. And, um, and if it would have been a friend of Laura's who passed away, she would probably post a video saying, my friend just passed away. I need time to mourn. Please let me mourn. And, and they just need a little bit of privacy. And not everybody, and it's 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 okay for everybody to ask why. And I'm not following Christy here, and I'm not trying to block you or anything. Um, it's just normal. It, it's it's you know that's that's that was my first question is is why you know. And I know um, many people out there are Christians. Many people are, out there aren't Christians, but um, when you believe, you believe that. Okay, let me reverse that. Let me just say what I believe instead of speculating what who believes and who doesn't. I believe that we are God's children. That's what I believe. And I believe that we have, each one of us has a job to do here on the earth before we go to heaven. And I think that Laura did it. For how many years did she pass her humor on? How many years did she love us? You know, she loved her subscribers. You know, she wouldn't have, I don't think that she would have done her, her channel and done the videos as much as she did if she didn't, if she didn't love us. She did, she loved us well. You know, she has a full channel to that, that will take weeks and months to go through watching all the videos. I'm not going to say that it was an, a legacy because she was more than her reborns. She loved her reborns, but she was more than that. And, um, and I believe that she did her job here on Earth. You know, I, I believe she did. And... Anybody can come along and, and say whatever you want, but that's just what I believe. And maybe it helps me cope a little bit better. 
maybe it helps me to to come through this a little bit um, this transition a little bit easier but I believe that she did her job on this earth she showed love despite the nasty comments despite the the um, you know and forgive yourselves too if you made one of those nasty comments and you are struck with grief she wouldn't want you to be struck with grief either she just wants you to apologize and move on you know she had that grant video where somebody did made a mistake and and you know that the person apologized and she said that's all they wanted you know don't be struck with grief don't feel guilty don't take that guilt that, that guilt in. She wouldn't want you to. She'd want you to just apologize, fess up, pull up your big lady panties or, bra or your big man pants, and move on with it. You know, she wanted everybody to have fun and everybody to get together and everybody to um, just just laugh and, and that yes, life is serious, but but it, it's, it's also meant to, to be fun and to be happy. And, you know, anybody could say, how do you presume what she wanted? It's in her work. It, it's, it's in her journey of her reborn community. It's, you know, she, um, she brought a lot of happy tears. For all those years that she was reborning and, and in the reborn community, not just in the reborn community, but just on, on YouTube as well. You know, she blessed many people. Not just with what she had to give physically in her dolls or in clothing or whatever, but with who she was. That, that was who she was. She wanted to bless people with who she was because... Not because she wanted to get something back, it's because she wanted to fill her heart. That's why I was so um, kind of attached to, to Little Loves, and I'd quote, not quote her a lot, but I'd reference her a lot. It's because that's who I am too. I, I just want to give love. And yes, I'd like to get some back sometimes, but... Um, Who she was and she would want you if you made one of those nasty comments she would want you to to just apologize say how can I she's passed she's she you know she's in heaven she still sees you you don't have to make a big statement on YouTube or on Facebook just you know say I'm sorry <laughs> you know and if you don't care, then I can't say anything to you about it. I'm not pretending that I knew her so well. I didn't. I really didn't. But I saw her heart. After I got to know her, um, y'all might not know this, but I wrote her not, an, I wouldn't say a nasty message, but it was, it was not a great message when I first... You know, I said that the reborning is is not for this, is not for everybody. It's not for it's um, you know, you might be um, delusional if you're a reborning person. And I said this like a year and a half ago, I think, maybe a year ago on our channel before I got, no, maybe but more a year and a half. And um, you know, and and she said just because you say these things doesn't mean that you know. I'm either going to change my mind or it's going to hurt me or whatever. What I don't, I can't add lib. It, it's on there somewhere. Like a year, year and a half ago, and um, probably as my other channel. And I went back and I apologized. You know, I think that what faults us so much as people is we're ignorant. We just are. We're not trying to be. We just don't know. And if we don't know about something and we don't ask about something, we just make accusations. And that's how we become ignorant. And and um, I think I got off the wrong, you know, thing here. But um, 
because she wouldn't want everybody to be sad. She wouldn't want everybody to be crying. She wouldn't want everybody to be distraught. And I understand her family and I can't say anything. You know, uh, sending prayers, sending prayers. Um, she just wanted us to see her heart. She wanted us to see her heart, that's all. And to accept her for who she was. She just wanted us to accept her for who she was and just for us to see her heart and see how much love she had for people. I believe that was like those few things that I'm mentioning was a big essence of Laura. Just in, in her soul, you know. Um, but I would like, I'm sorry, those were my neighbors being loud. I would like to, um, Maybe set a date for prayer. Um, maybe sometime in um, February or March. The family needs it more than you know sooner than later. But if we could all, you know, all means twenty people, hundred people, whoever agree to um, just pick one day in the month of February and just pray that day. You don't have to do a specific time. Just pick that one day and really lift her family up in prayer because that's what she would be asking for she would not she wouldn't be asking i don't think for prayer for her because she's in heaven you know she's in heaven she she's you know with, with the king and um she would be asking for help for her family because most times she wasn't about herself she was for other people so if we could just pick one day and send up prayers even though I know a lot of people already have and um, let's just you know it's, it's, I can't say everybody let's keep on watching her her YouTube but that's what she would want I think that now they should disable all comments now that's just my personal opinion um, but I think that, 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 that was part of her legacy is to, to leave us with that, you know? So I think that, um, yeah, I can't tell you what to do. I just know that after today, after me crying so much and being just really distraught, Seeing her last video really just, it really just calmed my heart, calmed my soul. It brought me peace. It really did. And maybe it, it, it could do that for you too. So I know there's going to be a lot of videos about her and everybody's going to get sick of it. Not because of who she is, but because of, um, they might be thinking that we're name dropping or, or trying to cause for everybody to come on our channels and get attention. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know her last name. But it's not my business to lower her last name. She's, she's Laura. Sweet, gentle soul, funny, as all get out, crazy, quirky, loved to bake, loved, loved her reborn dolls. And we don't even know, have, know, have to know a whole lot about her. We just had the one thing in common, the reborn dolls, and, and that is what kind of connects us with her. With her love and her passion for that. And, um, so, I think, um, it's going to take some time for the people that were most affected by it. I mean, not including her family, just in the reborn community. And I'm not talking just YouTube, I'm talking Facebook, I'm talking Instagram, I'm talking everybody. Everybody that, that she's, a, I mean, I don't even know how many subscribers she has, but she has a, um, she has, again, with the articulation of the word, she has, um, touched so many lives and she wouldn't want all those so many lives to be 
fighting and, and arguing and disagreeing. She'd want us to all come together and make spoofs or parodies. She'd want us all to come together and, you know, um, do a target haul. <laughs> she'd want us all to come together and um, just really appreciate who she was. That's what I feel. Um, and... I'm not talking um, from anything else but my heart today. And um, technically you can say anything you want. But um, I'd ask if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And just um, enjoy her videos. And uh, sending prayers to everybody who has been affected by this, which has been a lot of people. A lot of people. She has touched so many lives. you got to look at the grander scheme of life, you know. She's touched so many lives. And imagine how many lives she's really touched. I mean, outside of media, outside of YouTube, outside of Facebook, outside of, of everything. The people that she, that she walks in her daily life, her job. The people who she meets, you know. The people that she spends her time with. So prayers to her friends and her family. In this difficult time. God bless you.